Hello, YouTube. Uh, my name is Eric, and I am 41 years old, and I have recently had a stem cell injection in my ankle, okay? Uh, when I went and I looked all over the internet, I could see that there were, um, there wasn't a lot of information online about stem cell, or as far as YouTube videos go for stem cells. But uh, I decided, you know what, I think that people should know uh, whether they work or not, okay? So I've actually had one done, and I had an MRI, and my ankle had moderate, moderate uh, degeneration in the subtalar joint of my ankle. So after going through hell trying to figure out what was wrong with it, and finally realizing that... Um, um, what was wrong with my ankle i w decided that it would probably be better to go down the stem cell journey rather than having my ankle fused which is what the doctor wanted to do he wanted to fuse my ankle at 41 years old and i didn't want to do that so last friday which is today is saturday so it's been over a week just barely over a week that i had my injection on my stem cell and um so what to expect okay first of all the actual injection of the stem cell it's uh it's very painful um i actually so the way the procedure worked was the doctor went in and um um uh, he he came he came in and asked me if i wanted to be on um uh, nitrous oxide and I was like no I'm tough I've had cortisone shots in my ankle before and uh, they you know they weren't they weren't that painful so it's something I can endure well he explained that on a pain level from 1 to 10 that this could actually be like a 9 and it was nothing like a cortisone injection so I agreed to do the nitrous oxide so during the procedure when he did do an injection, which what they do is they, he does several injections throughout the entire joint of the ankle. Um, when he did inject it, it uh, even on the nitrous, I could still feel the pain, and it was pretty, it was pretty strong. Um, I would say on a scale from one to ten, it was probably a good five, while on nitrous oxide. So that just goes to show you that it's pretty painful when you get the shot into the joint. Uh, so that night I was in a lot of pain actually still. My recommendation is the medication that they give you, have it filled right away. Um, so that way you can um, uh, that way you can get it in your system as soon as possible. Um, before the numbing medication that they actually injected in uh, wears off. So anyways, make a long story short, I got the injection. The next day I was... Um, um, it was swollen. My ankle was swollen. It wasn't like overly swollen, but it was pretty swollen. And, uh, uh, the pain was most intense through the night. Well, I wouldn't say really through the night cause I took some Tylenol in and, uh, the, uh, uh, what is it like Oxycontin or whatever that he gave me. Um, which that stuff, man, it makes your stomach kind of hurt too. So I was taking like I was taking like a half of one and it was kind of with, and then the, and then I took Tylenol after that because it was just, that stuff, I didn't like it. So, um, anyways, um, uh, so the next day it's kind of like, okay, the ankle kind of, kind of, um, it was kind of swollen, but it actually, it didn't hurt real bad. And I think that's because there was so much swelling in the joint. So it almost made it feel a little bit better. So it wasn't too bad. I was like, oh, this ain't too bad. Um, but it's still, it, it was still painful to walk. Okay. So, um, it took about three days for it to, the pain to really kind of subside from the, well, it took about a day for the shot pain, maybe two days for the shot pain. Um, I would recommend taking like three days off of not doing much, but just sitting around and kind of taking it easy. But uh, now that I'm a week later, I'm feel it's I feel a lot of pain in other parts of my ankle where it, where it didn't hurt before, and uh, maybe that's just because my I'm starting to to walk on the injured area more, and it's starting to readjust the muscles and everything are that I haven't used before. I'm not real sure, 
but um, but the swelling seems to be like uh, down considerably. Like I used to get swelling up my leg at night every night, and that's actually almost disappeared. So that's kind of cool. But still walking right now today, it's it's pretty painful today to walk. So. And I'm not, I'm not taking any ibuprofen because they don't want you to take any ibuprofen. They want that inflammation so the stem cells can continue to grow where, where that injured area is. Uh, so basically, this is not great news right now because I'm only a week into it. But I wanted to do a video and kind of keep an update on how it goes. Because uh, uh, I think it's, it's important that people understand what... Uh, if, if this technology is actually working pretty good and for myself I'll, I'll, I'll be definitely honest and if it works that's great but uh, the cost involved it it was considerable uh, it was it was about five thousand dollars for one shot so it's not cheap um, but anyway so I'll keep you guys posted anybody that's interested in stem cell therapy um, if you want to follow me subscribe to me um, I'll keep you posted on, on how it goes. So, and, uh, they basically said something like five weeks. It should be, you should be doing a lot better. Um, and I got another appointment with him after five weeks. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. Thanks. Bye.